Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Maxim Vashilagrav and Gary Kasparov. This is a game from the Grand Chess Tour, played in Zagreb in 2021. Maxim Vashilagrav had white pieces and he started with e4. Gary Kasparov played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, e6, c3 intending d4, d5, white to move, e takes on d5 is the most played move, and we all played e5, d4, if knight to c6 then d4 and the game would transpose to the French defense, advanced variation, back to our game, Kasparov played d4, Bishop to d3, Bishop to d7. If d takes on c3, then d takes on c3, and white stands better. Back to our game. Bishop to d7, castling, Bishop to c6, Rook to e1, black to move. g5. This move was seen for the first time in 2004, and black went on to win the game. MVL continued with h3, h5, very sharp play by Gary Kasparov. Knight to a3, g4, knight to h2, black to move. Knight to h6 was played. Perhaps g takes on h3 should have been conceded. Let's go back to our game. In this position, knight to h6, bishop to e4, d3. Let's take it back. In this position, Kasparov also had these moves available. g takes on h3, bishop takes bishop, d takes on c3, and rook to g8. d3 was played b4, bishop takes bishop, rook takes bishop, queen to d5 attacking the rook, queen to a4 check, knight to c6, pawn takes pawn on c5, bishop takes pawn on c5, knight to b5, castling. At move 16, Kasparov stands better. Queen to c4, offering to trade queens. g3. Knight to f1. Pawn takes pawn on f2, check. King to h2. Knight to f5. Bishop to a3. Bishop takes bishop. Knight takes bishop. Black to move. King to b8 was played. Perhaps queen to a5. Keeping. The queens on the board should have been considered. Back to our game. King to b8. Queen takes queen. Rook takes queen. Knight to c4. b5. h4 would be a good move. The white king would not be able to go to g3 later on in the game. Back to our game. b5. Knight on c to e3, knight takes knight, knight takes knight, rook takes on e5, rook to f4, f5, king to g3, king to c7, a4, a6, a takes on b5, a takes on b5, king takes pawn on f2, and black is now only one pawn up. Rook to e4, let's take it back, perhaps, king to d6 should have been considered, rook to e4 was played, rook takes rook, pawn takes rook, king to g3, rook to f8, rook to e1, the other way to go was rook to f1, fighting for the open file, rook to e1, Knight to e7, let's take it back. Knight to a5, intending knight to c4, seems like a good idea. 
knight to e7 was played, rook to b1, king to c6. Let's take it back. If knight to d5, one line goes like this. Knight takes knight check, e takes on d5. And now, if rook takes on b5, then check. And after king takes pawn, rook to f2. And black stands much better. Back to our game. King to c6 was played. Rook to b4. Knight to f5 check. King to f4. Knight to d6. Discover check. King to e5. Rook to f2 invading the second rank. Rook to d4. Threatening rook takes knight. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do? Kasparov played knight to f7 check. Missing the winning move. If knight to f5, one line goes like this. Rook takes on e4. Rook takes on d2. Knight takes knight. Pawn takes knight. King takes pawn. Rook to f2 check. Black is clearly better. If king goes to g5, then d2. If the white king goes to e5, then rook to e2 and black wins. And let's continue this line. After king to g5, then d2, rook to d4, king to c5, king takes on h5, rook to f5, check, king to g4, rook to d5, rook takes on d2, rook takes rook, black wins. Back to our game. In this position, Kasparov played knight to f7, check. King takes on e6, knight to g5, king to e5, rook takes on d2, creating a dangerous passed pawn. h4, attacking the defender of the pawn on e4, rook to e2, rook to d6, check, king to b7, pawn takes knight, rook takes knight on e3, g6, Rook to e2, white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? MVL played g4, the killer move. Let's take it back. If g7, then rook takes on g2. If king takes on e4, then rook takes on g7. Black is better. Back to our game. So in this position, MVL played g4. Rook to g2. But now, g takes on h5. d2. King takes on e4. And in this position, Kasparov resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. King to c7. Rook takes pawn on d2, rook takes rook, g7, rook to g2, h6, rook to g5, h7, rook takes on g7, pawn to h8, queen. And I guess we can stop here. Kasparov was probably thinking that the result is not fair and he may be right. Let me show you some highlights from the game. Let's go to move number 7. In this position, Kasparov played g5. He turned the French defense into the French attack. And let's go to move 16. This is the position. At move 16, Kasparov clearly stands better. And let's go to move 38. This is the position. Then Kasparov missed knight to f5. He played knight to f7 instead. And one more position. This is the position. When Maxim Vashilagrav 
turned the tables with g4 winning the endgame battle congratulations to maxim vashilagrav on winning the grand chess tour zagreb 2021 what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now